Hello everyone, it's Charlton. They have arrested somebody um, in connection to the death of Valerie Reyes. Um, and uh, they just did, did that. This is just breaking in the last 15 minutes. Um, got game, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the, that's the person who just gave me a heads up about this. It is... Um, you know, I don't know if this is the same ex-boyfriend that she just broke up with on the 24th of January before she went missing. I would suspect that it is, but I have no idea of that. There's very little information other than his name and that they did, uh, They, I think they initially ch arrested him on a fraud, fraud charge because of using her card at the ATM, something of that nature. But I think they, uh, they do, you know, they expect to bring charges. I believe in her murder, you know, later today, you know, they'll be, I think, providing more information. His name is out there, but there's no photo of him or anything like that yet. Police say Javier De Silva of Flushing, Queens has been, uh, has been charged in the killing. Okay, so he has been charged in the murder of 24-year-old Valerie Reyes. Uh, this this article here, News 12's Westchester, at least has some description. Everything else is just just the name and the fact that he's been charged with uh, with her murder. They say Ray's was killed at her home in New Rochelle, and then then was bound and stuffed inside a suitcase, and then tossed down an embankment off busy Glenville Road at the border of Port Chester and Greenwich. She hadn't been seen by her family since January 29th, and her body was found on February 5th. The cause of death has not uh, been released yet. Police say De Silva was arrested in New York after police say he used the victim's credit card. The case is being handled by the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Last week, Ray's mother, Norma Sanchez, told News 12 her daughter... Uh, her daughter, she had struggled in the days before she went missing due to, due to a failed relationship. Sanchez said her daughter had just broken up with De Silva. Okay, so it is De Silva that she had just broken up with, and she feared for her life the day before she disappeared. She says her daughter told her, Mommy, I just feel like I need to go back to therapy because I'm really scared. I'm having anxiety attacks again. A wake for Ray's is scheduled for this afternoon and evening. Um, at Lloyd Maxey and Sons Funeral Home in New Rochelle. Our funeral, our funeral is tomorrow morning at the Church of the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, like I said, there's no, there's no photos of him or anything uh, like a booking photo yet. I'm sure that'll be coming very soon. So um, this is CBS New York. Man confesses to killing Westchester. County woman found inside suitcase. A man has confessed confessed to the killing of Westchester County woman found dead inside a suitcase along the side of a road in Connecticut. Sources tell CB, CBS two. Okay, there's there is no report in this. Uh, vi there's no video to it, but there is uh, some additional information. Source so sources have identified him as Javier de, de, de Silva. Of Flushing Queens, who previously had a relationship with Ray's sources say he is originally from Venezuela and has been in the country illegally since overstaying his visa. Ray's was reported missing last month after she didn't show up for work at Barnes and Nobles in um, East Chester. Friends described her as sweet and loving. I, I was praying that that wasn't her in the suitcase. I was praying her family would have her back. She's the uh, she's the oldest oldest sibling to lose your firstborn. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Her neighbor Brenda D. Uh, Giacomo Giacomo told CBS two. And uh, you know that is uh, that is the story there. One more time, check for a photo. And I don't see one. I'm sure it'll be coming. All right, that is the uh, story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. Thanks again, once again. Got game. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.